Complaint after complaint piling up, hundreds in all never investigated. The Cleveland Office of Professional Standards is back in hot water. It is supposed to review citizen complaints involving Cleveland police. News 5's investigated this issue from the begin beginning. James Girardi live for us with the backlog that is not going away, James. Rob, that's exactly right. Following years of News 5 investigations, we learned that the Office of Professional Standards was in way over its head when it came to citizen complaints about the Cleveland Police Department. Well, as of yesterday, we still learned that there are hundreds of cases behind. In a scathing report released by the Cleveland Police Monitoring Team, the Office of Professional Standards is falling far short of Department of Justice mandates in handling citizen complaints of the Cleveland Police Department, saying the monitoring team was, quote, frustrated by OPS's lack of progress, citing systematic failures that will prevent timely compliance with the consent decree. Yes, telling you, you just heard what Dan just said to you. This man, Damon Scott, is out as the head of the OPS, leaving last fall. He's at least the third administrator heading up the troubled office in recent years. The department currently operating without a head and, according to the monitoring team, drowning in citizen complaints. The city now promising to hire a third-party firm in the coming months to take on some of the caseload. It's evident that the Office of Professional Standards has been mismanaged for quite a period of time. CSU professor of urban studies Dr. Ronnie Dunn has studied the OPS's shortcomings for years. The role they play is an important one, guaranteeing citizens' voices are heard and that police are held accountable. It doesn't uh, instill much confidence in, um, in the public, in the citizenry, that their, their complaints are taken seriously. A new head of OPS is expected to be hired in the coming months, and that new private firm is expected to be hired by the city in the coming weeks. Reporting live in Cleveland tonight for News 5, I'm James Girardi.